You don't want to play with the ball? Every time you take a picture, it lights up. You don't want to play with the ball? You want to play with a car or a truck or what you want to play with? I don't know, but it says something. I'll be able to slow it down. So you don't want to play with the ball? I'll play with you. So if we have Play-Doh, let's play with the ball. Come and touch the screen light. I'm getting that um, very sad feeling again. I really want to cry. Do you know this family personally? Why are you afraid of me? You keep hiding. Since the moment I walked through the door, you've been hiding. And just... Hovering and acting like you aren't even there. But you, I know you are. I can feel you. Are you evil? Oh, it's, a, uh, it's a relative term. <laughs> Are you destructive? Come on, you've been uh, you've been giving us a lot of <laughs> activity today. But all of a sudden, we're alone in a room together. So how's it going? Very little. And what you got? Um, it was buried on this land. It was buried on this land? But that's what I was telling them earlier. I don't think that what's here is demonic in any nature and I that's right like I told them I think that you like Jeremy don't you <laughs> don't say a word <laughs> but I told him that I think that this spirit that's here 
it may not be I think it comes and goes yeah and uh, I think that's what we're dealing with so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a walkthrough just kind of what was that bed move yeah the bed moved yeah. did you do that maybe <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, we're gonna do a walkthrough, and then we'll do a cleansing, and uh, and just to let you know that if you are buried on this land, that's fine. These people are about to bring a new child into this house, and they don't need you here. They need to be able to raise their child without any interruption. Now is we pretty much wrapped up the investigation. We're gonna do a. Uh, I walk through with Sam. We're just gonna let her just kind of feel around and see if she picks up anything. And if she does, she'll just say it as she goes. Then after that, we're gonna do a cleansing, and uh, I'm pretty sure that'll take care of what's here. Now, my opinion is, I don't think that there's anything demonic here. I think that whatever's here is attached to the land. It's not necessarily attached to the house. I think that it comes and goes, but with the family fixing to have a new child here, they don't need, you know, any added stress, mm -hmm. so it's going to have to leave, and that's what we're going to do. So, since you've been here, what kind of vibes have you gotten? It's been heavy, and um, I've had feelings of sadness and at one point it was really intense and um I haven't I mean it, it was like we walked in the door and I was trying to feel it out but it was like um you ever hidden anything in a wall before like you knew it was there but it wasn't there right it's kind of like on the outskirts you know it was hiding itself I say itself, male or female, I don't know. Um, I mean, I would go into each room and try and feel it out, and it just, it was there, but it wasn't. It just wouldn't speak to me or present itself. Okay, so if there's someone here in this house, now's your time to speak to her and let her know what you feel and what we could do to help you if you feel that you've been neglected or something like that that people's forgotten about you let us know if there's anything that we can do to help you move on to a better place and be with god let us know all you have to do is tell us and i tell you to my word to my heart i will do what you ask so just tell us what we need to do. Like fear is in what? Like it's scared. <laughs> kind of like um, when a kid hides behind his mom from a scary guy. That type of thing. So do you think it's possibly a child? I think it might be. Are you a child? If you're a child, let us know. Like I said, you don't have to be afraid. Do you hide in the closet because you're afraid? That door just popped open. The damn sure did. That door just popped open. I seen it pop open. Did you do that? This door just literally popped open. It was shut. And then it just popped open. I mean, it, it just don't like, like that. I didn't hear it. Well, I seen it. I didn't hear it. I just seen it. Not unless it just wasn't pulled tight all the way. But it did that. Crazy. 
So, the, like the vibes you get in this room is, is it any different in this room? Completely. <laughs> so it's heavy, heavy. So right here. here, not so much. So th this right here is more of a heavier feeling. This room? Yeah. No. I mean, whenever I was, you know, sitting here by myself and talking to it, it was a little electrified, but it wasn't like it is in that room. So that room is more intense. Yeah. Now, see, like right now, I don't know if you can notice this, but just the atmosphere in this room, to me, seems lighter than in there. Still, I can still feel a little bit. Yeah, you're right. I, you're right. It is lighter. Yeah. But it's still, I still feel like. Yeah, but it, it still feels like you're in the water, but it's not like in the air. It's just kind of like real humid, muggy like feeling, but in here it's lighter. Paranormal. Throughout our investigation we learned a few things. First of which if you watched a segment in the very first part of the video where we're doing the spirit box, you will hear what seems to be three distinct spirits. You have a child, a male and a female and it appears that they're talking amongst themselves not necessarily trying to communicate with us second of all through Sam our medium we also gather that the male spirit in the house is more of a timid spirit in other words he doesn't want to be known he doesn't want to be seen I guess he's just trying to protect what could possibly be his family. So he tends to be a little bit more aggressive. Now, after doing our investigation, we cleansed the house. And after the house cleansing, I'm proud to say that there has not been any more paranormal activity since we've done the cleansing. Now, I'd also like to state that there is a grave site no more than 20 yards away from the back of the house. It's unmarked graves. Could this possibly be the spirits of the family, possibly family, that is buried in the backyard? Possibly so.